pinball, that fun, fast, all-American game, is actually against the law in this city. 60 miles north of New York City, Beacon prohibits any type of pinball or video arcade, even the vintage kind from the 50s and 60s. Fred Bobro is owner of the Retro Arcade Museum. 18 months after opening his doors, he says he was ordered to shut them. It turns out that uh, they were able to uh, prevent me from operating by enforcing an arcane law that uh, bans pinballs in the, town of, uh, in the town of Beacon. Pinball arcades. And uh, the fine is uh, $1,000 a day or jail. Beacon isn't the only city to have outlawed pinball. Believe it or not, the game was banned from the early 1940s to the mid-70s in most of America's big cities, including New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. Lawmakers believe pinball was a mafia-run racket and a waste of time for impressionable youth. Arcades in the 70s may have represented something, you know, maybe that a community wouldn't want on their main street or that it would attract the bad you know, kids or whatever. Many local officials insist Bob Rowe's Retro Arcade Museum is a good fit with Beacon and believe this unique business, part museum, part entertainment center, has the potential to draw visitors to the area. For the past two months, the Beacon City Council has been considering a change in the law. Uh, the legislative process really does take its time, and councils really look very closely at all of the letters of the law and look ahead to the future. It's a process that usually can't be done very quickly because we want to do it right rather than do it right away. But movement to rewrite the law has been slow and could come too late to save this pinball wizard and his business. Town is on their own timeline that doesn't coincide with business. Business, you have to be open every day. I'm shutting this machine off. Alan Chernoff, CNN.